Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. What's your cinnamon day or cinnamon night? Leave a comment down below. Before the video starts, thank you everybody for watching my 10K video and supporting the channel for almost going on seven years now. Been doing this for a long time. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave the card at the end. Definitely check it out. And there's a bunch of giveaways attached to that video as well. But today is my birthday, April 30th. So I'm going out to dinner later, but I'm gonna go grab some lunch. And I'm going to give you my full review on this fragrance as well. It's from the house of Paco Rabanne. One of my favorites that came out last year. This is no other than One Million Elixir. So shout out to a subscriber. I'll leave his name private. I don't know if he wants me to say his name, but he gifted me this as a gift. He said, hey, I want you to have this fragrance. Um, appreciate your content, so on and so forth. So thank you for the gift. I don't know how to repay you. It's just beautiful that people want to help me grow on my channel. It's a beautiful thing. Um, and I definitely love this fragrance. Probably my third favorite fragrance that came out last year of 2022. But nevertheless, in this video here, I'm gonna wear it. Probably do about four or five sprays, tell you about the performance, if Kelly likes it, and how long it lasts on my skin if I get any comments. So I'm gonna go grab some lunch and then I'm gonna grab dinner later on. So if you enjoy these type of vlog videos, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any content. Like the video, click the bell icon so you don't miss any future content and giveaway announcements as well. Plain Joe. Kind of expensive. So. One million elixir. This um, fragrance here. And I like the fragrance a lot. So you guys saw the video where I went out, had lunch earlier, then I went out to dinner with Kelly. So it was a really nice atmosphere. It rained all day, but it's April. It always, you know, rains in April. Um, so it is what it is. So I post notes on the screen. You guys can see it real quick. And I don't notice in this fragrance here. Sprayers are always good. No complaint with that. Beautiful gold bottle as well. You can see the juice in it. So this one opens up. You're getting a nice sweetness with the apple. So this has green apple. There's some Davana. So you kind of get that green herbal fusier type of vibe, but more green herbal. Once you get to the mid, you're definitely picking up. There's the rose and Arthmantis and some cedar. So you definitely get some cedar in the fragrance. Mantis sometimes give it a flowery touch to it or a soft woodiness. But you definitely get a lot of woods in this fragrance as well. It's a sweet fragrance with the green apple. When you get to the base of the fragrance or more towards the dry down, you're picking up the vanilla tonka bean patchouli. So you get a lot of vanilla and tonka bean in the dry down. Getting a tight touch of patchouli as well. It's a sweet fragrance. If you like the one million DNA, you're gonna like this fragrance here. I feel like this one here, I like a lot. This is probably my third favorite fragrance that came out last year. Awesome scent. Really like this one a lot. And now I'm gonna to touch a little bit on the price. So the price point, keep in mind prices, um, they do go on sale sometimes for these fragrances here at Macy's and Sephora. But right now for retail, it's a hundred bucks for a 50 ml box, about half the size here. And then I do have, the bottle I have here is a hundred ml, so $126 for a one uh, zero zero. A 3.4 ounce bottle like this right here. You want the big 200 million, looking at 226 dollars. 
So if you think it's gonna be a fragrance you wanna wear every day, this is definitely uh, more bang for your buck. It's a 200 ml bottle um, because there's a little bit of performance issues for me on this fragrance personally, which I'll touch on in a moment. I like the beautiful presentation with the whole Illuminati symbol here, or whatever, but it's still one million fragrance, same bottle, everything. I wish they would have changed this up a little bit or something. Wait for them to make an all white bottle, right? <laughs> it is what it is. Let's see it come out soon. Don't quote me on it, but let's see. Or all red bottle of one million, right? If you like the other flankers of one million, you're gonna like this here. So my con with this fragrance would be is the performance isn't where I want it to be. So I've tried this fragrance out numerous times at Macy's. I fell in love with the opening, the greenness in it, the sweetness in it. It's a cotton getter type of fragrance, but these are my cons. So let's talk about the projection. Projection is nice. It's like very half an arm's length. It's kind of close to the skin. It doesn't seem to radiate just almost a half an arm lift that doesn't push out any further so people gotta get closely to smell it it's okay but i wish it would go beyond the arm lift because it's a one million fragrance these are kind of ones that you want them to be a little bit more louder in your face i say don't show people out but you want people to know what fragrance you're wearing you know you want to if, if you're like other people i know like my friend jerome you want a fragrance that's going to be announced himself get compliments on so forth these are fragrances that are massive appealing to get compliments but this one here doesn't work great on my skin Mother kind of longevity. Longevity is not the greatest. It's in that, I want to say, five to six hours. By that six hours, I'm digging my nose and trying to smell the fragrance. I like this one a lot. I really wish it lasts longer. Like I said, I tried it with non scented lotion. I tried it with no lotion. And it's still in that six hours on my skin. Like I said, I have dry skin. Some people have oily skin, so on and so forth. Everybody's skin can be different. Some people might get eight hours, ten hours. Plus, I get... Like I said, between five to six hours, and I gotta reapply it again because it's close to the skin. I like the fragrance, I'm gonna wear it, but there are there are issues with the performance. You would think you would get an eight or nine hours of longevity because it's a sweet fragrance. It's not a it's not a fresh fragrance. You know, there's really no bergamot, there's no lemon, there's no ambroxan, no pedigree, there's no neroli. So they're not fresh notes. So this should be able to last longer and longer. This is an elixir, you would think it lasts a long time, but it doesn't. The Dior Sauvage Elixir is massive, different, but that performs like a champ. This here, you're gonna have to reapply. Keep in mind, this is just me talking about my skin chemistry. You might get better or worse, so definitely go to your local Macy's. So far, Nordstrom, do a couple of sprays on your wrist and see if it works on your skin. Let's talk about the season. So pretty much this is more of, I wanna say, spring, fall, and winter. Don't think I wanna wear this in the heavy dead of summer. Summer gets pretty hot here on the East Coast, New Jersey, New York, Philadelphia slash area. You don't want to wear this in there, but by all means, if you're indoors and there's air conditioner, climate control environment, you can wear it all year round at six percent. Occasions, this is perfect for date night. This is perfect for casual wearing. I wouldn't wear it to the office. I feel like it might be too heavy for the office depending on your skin chemistry. Running errands, picking up Starbucks, grabbing food or dinner. This will work perfectly. You want to wear it to the bar. It'll work perfectly. This is more of a, I would say, a 2018 to 25 year old fragrance. I can wear it at 30, sure you can rock it, but it's more of a juvenile scent, I feel like, with the sweetness in it. So somebody that's 18 to 21, this will work perfectly. If you're a teenager and your parents wanna buy you a nice sweet fragrance, this could work for anybody between 16 up to 25 years old. Or college student itself, this will, fragrance will work perfectly for you. Ratings and final thought. So for me personally, Kelly gave his fragrance a 8.5 out of 10. I'll give it an eight. It smells great. I wish it had better performance, but every fragrance is different. I like this one a lot, guys, and I'll continue to wear it. Maybe I'll have to overspread to make it perform better, but I've worn this today, no comments, it is what it is, but I like this one a lot from the house of one million elixir, and hopefully they make a one million uh, EDP intense elixir or an intense uh, one million in the future. So far, I like the fragrance. I get a slightly bit of chocolateness in the fragrance as well. And I think you guys should definitely check out the One Million Elixir or check out Invictus um, Victory uh, Elixir. That one's amazing as well. If you guys have tried any of the One Million Flankers, if you tried this one or the other one, let me know what your favorite One Million Flanker is down below. Thank you guys for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content you're new here or been watching video after video after video and never committed to the channel, please show your support by clicking that red subscribe button if you're new or you would like to support the channel after many times of watching videos. 
I would appreciate that. It's awesome content. It's unlimited. So, you know, you click video after video. Enjoy your fragrance content. Be safe, everyone. And I'll catch you next video very soon. Peace.